Emily, thank you very much. Zach Napsey is the recreation coordinator at Bangor Parks and Rec. Zach, thank you much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Uh, Kanduska Egg Canoe Race coming up this Saturday. How are things going so far? Things have been great, really. We've had a big turnout. You know, a lot of repeat people come to the race every year. That's what makes it special, in my opinion, uh, is hearing all the stories about the people that have raced for 50 plus years that keep coming back. And sure. It's a huge event. How many people have registered so far? Uh, when I left the office about 20 minutes ago, we had 699 people registered, so just about 700. Uh, uh, and that equals about 364 boats that are going to be in the race. Wow. Yeah. Uh, now, can people register all the way up until uh, that morning? Yeah, race day, they can register up until 9.45 a.m. Uh, it is cash or check only. That's a big important thing on race day. But uh, a lot of people do wake up and want something to do, get to Kanduskeg Union Church, and you can register that day. You can see uh, some of the water levels from years past. Always a big question. This is last year's race, in fact. How are things looking so far? A little bit uh, lower than we'd like at this point in the year, but still going to be a great day for the race. Um, it seems like Maine this year, it rained every day we didn't want it to, and now that we do, we can't get it to rain. So, uh, But the water should be great. We should be have a really good day for it, too. Uh, now, what do you want people to know who are going to take in the race or people who are actually are act racing in it as well? Yeah, um, so people that are viewing the race, I mean, the stream is, it's a 16 and a half mile long race, so there's plenty of opportunities to view the race. Um, you know, downtown Bangor and the canals is where we finish, so that's a really great place to kind of hang out and watch the end of the race and cheer people on as they finish. Um, the Sea Dog Restaurant, that's a big, you know, sponsor of this event. Behind their building, we have a, you know, that's kind of our headquarters for the day. That's where the finish line is. There's going to be, you know, there'll be some music playing, things like that. Um, but anywhere along the race, Valley Ave's another great place to watch. Six Mile Falls, a beautiful spot, too. That's where we'll be broadcasting from. Uh, also, for people who take part in the race, there is a, a service to help them. So say you make it eight miles, you don't have yes. to walk all the other eight, <laughs> eight and a half. Yes, we have a couple of, uh, we have multiple stops for some uh, shuttle buses that will bring people back up to their cars at the, the beginning of the race if needed. Those will be running periodically throughout the day from the finish line back, and then also some stops along the way for people that uh, can't get to the end line. Now, Parks and Rec, you guys do a ton of work, but you have people helping you put this thing on. There are search and rescue crews. Yes. Uh, businesses helping you do all this uh, what's it like putting uh, this event and getting it on each year uh, no pun intended it's all hands on deck really I mean we have over 70 plus people that really help put on this event every year um, going from Bangor uh, Fire Department Police Department our public works our own Parks and Recreation staff um, plus we have a lot of different you know volunteers that help out of this Darlings is a big sponsor I've mentioned Sea Dog as well uh, and a big shout out to the town of Kanduska for allowing us to use their town every year for this and also the Kanduska yep. Union Church. Those are also big. It is uh, uh, an event that is so unique to Maine uh, and so fun. And for those that are thinking about uh, jumping in right now, what would you say if you you know on the fence about registering? Uh, I would say go for it, really. I mean, it's a good year for it, really. The water levels are going to be a little bit lower, so the race might take a little bit longer, might be a little bit easier going. Those rapids aren't going to be as intimidating for first-time canoers. Um, but like I said already, just the history of this event and the people that keep coming back are what make it. And so without new people starting, Starting, we can't get to that, you know, repeat. What time does the first boat go off? First boat, first five boats go off at 10 a.m., five mm -hmm. boats per minute. And because it takes a little time uh, to get there for all the thrills and spills of Six Mile Falls, we'll go on the air at noon on, uh, on Saturday. So if you ever wanted to be on TV5, register for this. <laughs> this